In this video, I will show you one of the many ways you can use StackUp to make Web3 apps as easy to use and, frankly, to develop as Web2. This is an example specifically of a codeless NFT collection platform. First, I'll show you what it's like for the user, and then I'll go back and tell you uh, what's happening under the hood. OK, so let's log in. Uh, I can either connect directly with a wallet or use a social login. I'll continue with Google. Great, now I'm logged in. Once I'm ready to create my collection, I click Mint. I'll confirm I clicked it on purpose and authenticate. Okay, I wait for it to be published and done. The key thing is that as a user, I didn't have to know anything about how a blockchain works to publish my project. Okay, let's go back to the start and review what's happening under the hood. So this app has a login button that brings up a few options to authenticate. If your user selects a social login, a private key, or in theory, any other authentication scheme is created locally under the hood and encrypted with their social login. Uh, this private key will be given authority to sign transactions on behalf of a smart contract wallet that will be created later. Uh, if your user connects with an existing wallet, uh, the private key of that wallet then becomes associated with signing transactions on behalf of this smart contract wallet. So at this point, uh, the smart contract wallet is not actually deployed. It is only when the first transaction is made that the contract is created. So when the user goes and clicks Mint, all of the actions that need to happen on the blockchain is bundled into a single meta transaction for them to approve. The technical term for this pseudo transaction object is a user operation, uh, but we don't need to get into that. Basically, all you need to know is that in this app, three transactions are happening at once. The NFT contract is deployed, the wallet contract is deployed, and gas fees are sponsored by the app, not the user. So when the user clicks Mint, uh, they authenticate again, which locally signs the message approving the transactions using the associated private key. Additionally, uh, a piece of software to handle the logic for sponsoring these transactions signs the transactions. At StockUp, we call the software Paymaster Connect. Uh, Paymaster Connect verifies just that the app wants to sponsor this transaction and signs a message confirming that gas fees will be sponsored by the app's smart contract account. Uh, the account that's on chain is called the Paymaster. That's why we call the software Paymaster Connect. Uh, okay, so we now have the user operation built with the transaction data and signatures, right? Uh, this is then sent to the blockchain uh, via a bundler. With, using StackUp, this is just a simple RPC call. Okay, so then once the transactions are complete, the app tells the user everything worked. If you have any additional questions about this, you can check the StackUp docs at docs.stackup.sh or just chat with us directly in our Discord server linked on our website. 